Hey guys and welcome! We will recreate the latest Fortnite Live event with Clay <laughs> once again. First things first, I will make the volcano eruption with baking soda and vinegar. And after that I will destroy my beloved Tilted Towers. Update complete. I remember this experiment back when I was at school. Baking soda and vinegar will give a really nice exothermic reaction and hopefully it will look amazing on our volcano from Fortnite Season 8. Let's find out. I'm really excited. I have some baking soda. Just looks like powder. And it will go right inside the volcano. Three teaspoons should be enough. Well, but I want to be really sure that we give and get, get a nice exothermic reaction. Ah, maybe I take even some more baking soda. Just, just a little bit. Ah, come on. I want to be really sure that it will look amazing. I don't know if this is too much or not. Then we have some food coloring, which is just red liquid stuff, which looks like that. Oh no, blood. Oh no, blood. Which will also go inside, maybe just a few drops. Three maybe. Or even more. It, it should really look like red. It should look like lava. Okay, I think this is enough. Well, and last but not least, vinegar, apple cider vinegar. Maybe also just a few, a few tablespoons, a little bit, maybe just a little bit more. Oh, just a few table uh, teaspoons. Whoa! Look at that. It looks amazing! Maybe some more vinegar. Oh, it, it even floats right down there. Look at that! The lava! You should really get the sound. Well, that's a mess. I don't know what you think, but I think this was a really success. I was. I'm really afraid that the lava would only come out right here in the front part of the volcano, but it really exploded and came right from the top. So ah, I'm quite happy with the experiment. And now I try to clean it up because there's a second part of this video. Now we will take care of tilted towers. Don't try this at home. The time has come, I'm really afraid. But I think there's no other way. We have to destroy Tilted Towers. Maybe you remember my tutorial when I created Tilted Towers. It was the very first map piece I ever created from Fortnite. So I have somehow hard feelings. Let's, let's do this. One, two, three. Maybe I should hit right there in the center. 
Trump Tower. I just can't do it. Maybe I need some help from someone who's experienced with destroying stuff. Thanos, okay, it's your turn. Destroy tilted towers. I can't do it. There has to be another way. Uh, do you really think I would destroy one of my creations? I would never do that. Never. Oh yeah, this one time I remember it was Loot Lake. <laughs> but this was the only time. Now, let's create the destroyed Tilted Towers. I'm quite excited, although I think it won't look that amazing in the end because it's just a mess and Tilted Towers just looked perfect um, the way it looked before it was destroyed. I have no idea why the developers decided to remove Tilted Towers. Maybe it was about time to just give the map a new change. Um, I know that many players had been complaining about this location because it got a bit boring right there in the middle game. Well, I can't help it. I still love this place. And maybe because it was the first map piece I, um, I ever created. It was quite funny to use one of my creations as reference. It made it way more easy. For example, the rocks and this dark gray for the street. Let's try to get a very thin layer. This will be for the street. And then we will start messing around with this. Um, it's, it's lava. It's, it's also black rocks which are also supposed to be lava, but just um, cold. Probably there's a word for that. Cold, cold lava always looks so black. So this is the layer for the, the street layout. And let's place it right between our rocks, our mountains. And on the edges, there is a bright gray. I love this spot until the towers. Now it's gone. <laughs> the tunnel, of course. We will make this one open as well. Um, yeah, this. Um, there are so many details on this destroyed tilted towers. I won't get all of the details because, ah, yeah, why? Why not? <laughs> I will create the most iconic and most important details, but all of them would be just crazy. This really would be crazy to get all the cars, all the destroyed walls right. So um, when, when you are creating with clay, it helps a lot. Sometimes it helps a lot when you just try to, to create more free freestyle and not so much focused on the actual reference image that really helps and it's more fun as well so this is the lava um, here you can see some of the bright spots with the lava which is still liquid and hot <laughs> ah, this is some red we will put this as the base layer onto the ground and later we will add some um, yellow clay as well. I even thought about acrylic paint because it's really bright. Oh look at that, the floating effect. I just threw in some, some black clay and it looks amazing. Now let's see how it will turn out when we add some tiny spots with yellow. Ah. I like it. I don't think we need acrylic paint. Maybe we can sprinkle some more yellow spots. And now we can focus on all the buildings. The destroyed buildings. This is the, the clock tower. Ah. Well, there's one building which is not destroyed. And this is, um, well, somehow a joke, funny because this building always was destroyed from the insurance company. I have forgotten the name, 
But it's quite funny that all the buildings are gone, but not the insurance company's building. <laughs> Do you really think this insurance company would pay for all the destroyed buildings? I don't think so. <laughs> now, a very thin layer of green clay, and we will just throw it onto the creation, and it already looks nice, especially when we will add some more trees after of hardening. So, let's take another plate. This will be for, for all the tiny details for the cars, for example. We have a blue car, a yellow one. This is the truck lying right in front of the entrance of the tunnel. Uh, we have three school buses and the trees. Look at the trees from Tilted Towers. I just create them the same way I did it in the first version of Tilted Towers. It's quite simple to create when you have a knife or a scalpel and it really looks detailed, especially when you add some more trunks after an hardening. Here we go. And I guess we put everything into the oven. Freshly baked lava. Freshly baked Tilted Towers. Destroyed Tilted Towers. Now all the details and my pens because I want to get all all the windows right on the cars <laughs> so this is the building which is not destroyed I'm just painting some of the, the pipes on the roof and also the windows this truck goes right there I think it was the ice cream truck but I'm not really sure so this is a cap probably and it's lying right in front of the whole mess and there's a camping bus right on top of the hill another blue bus this one is important right yeah, maybe we add some lights white lights and glue it right there and now we start assembling the trees the trunks all the leaves well, pine trees don't really have leaves, right? And the last one. Look at that. Now, some transparent polish for the shiny effect on the lava. And guys, I guess that's it. Destroyed the towers. I'm still so sad. Well, that's it for the destroy Tilted Towers. Thank God we found a different way that there was no need to destroy my beloved Tilted Towers. Have a great week, guys. See you on fr Friday. Take care. Bye. Oh no, I destroyed Tilted Towers again. The two brothers of Tilted Towers. Huh?